Have you ever almost or fallen asleep in class or at work because of lack of sleep the night before? I think we all have, and I want to show you guys this video. It's quite humorous, and I think you guys can relate to it. Whether we all want to admit it or not, that has been us at one point in our lives or another. I am going to prove to you that why sleep is important, the bad things that happen when you don't get a good night's sleep, and how to accomplish that quality sleep that you're looking for. You need to get a good night's sleep every night to be able to fully function every day. According to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, sleep plays a vital role in good health and well-being throughout one's life. Getting enough quality sleep can help protect your mental and physical health, quality of life, and your safety. If you don't get quality sleep, you can increase your chances of chronic health problems as well as affecting how well you think, react, work, learn, and get along with others. I personally have found that if I don't get enough sleep at night, my exhaustion takes over and I am unable to perform at my full capacity the next day. According to thehelpguide.org, the solution to making sure you get enough sleep is always in your daily routine. Here are five tips to help you get the perfect sleep that you've been looking for. First, keep in sync with your body's natural cycle. This means going to sleep and waking up at the same time every day, which sets your internal clock. And if you sleep in or stay up late just one night, it can mess up your whole internal clock. Exercising during the day helps get a good night's sleep. If you do this, you have a better chance of feeling less tired during the day. And the harder you work out, the higher quality sleep you will have. Next, eating and drinking smart. Caffeine intake can affect your body for up to 12 hours after consumption, so therefore it can disrupt your sleep patterns. Avoiding big meals and heavy liquid intakes at night means avoiding stomach troubles and multiple trips to the bathroom during your night's sleep. Winding down and clearing your head before bed. If you are stressed, worried, or anxious, I'm sure you've found it hard to fall asleep at night. Practicing relaxation techniques before bed can help ease the mind and prepare you for sleep. Lastly, improving your sleep environment. One of the most important and also the easiest to accomplish. The same bedtime routine every night sends a message to your brain telling you it is time to wind down. This is why you find yourself getting tired about the same time every night. Keeping the noise down, your bedroom temperature cool, and having a comfy bed are things that make for a positive sleep environment. If you are not already feeling all of the positive effects that sleep gives you, you now know how you can capture those effects and get a good night's sleep at night. Research suggests that sleep helps learning. If a person is sleep deprived, they cannot focus or learn efficiently, and I'm sure you have all found that while in school or at work, you can't focus. From the book, The Secret World of Sleep, author Penelope Lewis tells us about how when we are asleep, the neurons associated with strengthening our memory reactivate. So if we don't get quality sleep at night, our memories will not be as vivid the next day. She compares this to our brain rehearsing things without us even knowing while we are asleep. Now that I have told you why it is so important to get a good night's sleep, I hope you will take my advice and no longer struggle to wake up and be tired during the day. And the next time you think about staying up late, remember the consequences that will hit you the next morning. Thank you.